Hello, this is Mary Helen Dara, and this is Women in the Driver's Seat. Today, we're talking with Dolly Dara about Sylvania Neighborhood Bridges. They're a new nonprofit in the Sylvania area that bridges those families and individuals in need with people that can assist them. Let's go inside and find out more about this incredible Women in the Driver's Seat and about this organization she's so passionate about. Hello, Dolly. Hi, I'm, there, hi. I'm uh, with Dolly Dara of Savania Neighborhood Bridges. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the history of your business? Sure. Um, Neighborhood Bridges is a relatively new nonprofit in Sylvania. It began out of Westerville, Ohio, back in January of 2017. Our mission is to bridge communities with schools to help remove barriers, to prepare kids to come to school prepared and ready to learn. We have filled close to 70 needs for our students. Uh, those include like shoes, boots, personal care, pantry items. We've donated beds, mattresses, and even a few household appliances. Our total in-kind donations and gift cards going back out to those in need have totaled close to $50,000. That's incredible. What was the deciding factor to get in the driver's seat at Savannah Neighborhood Bridges? Sure, well, Karen Smith, who is the co-area director with me, um, learned about Neighborhood Bridges through her daughter, who was actually an educator in a Columbus suburb. And she knew it would just be a wonderful new tool and resource to have in the community's back pocket to help with those families and students that just are having a little extra or having a hard time making ends meet. She and I are both full-time volunteers. All money that's donated to Neighborhood Bridges does stay in our community. We help with short-term or acute type needs that are discovered in the community. We save or let other nonprofits help with the long-term needs. We've heard our Neighborhood Bridges likened to a year-round angel tree, and I really think that's oh, true. That's a beautiful analogy. What are a few of the most challenging and rewarding aspects of uh, what you're doing? Sure, one of the most challenging aspects, being a baby boomer, is keeping up with the ever-changing technology. We engage our community to give through social media. Our social media pages are Facebook and Instagram. The algorithms, the technology is really a big learning curve for Karen and I to both keep up with and make sure we're using as best we can to reach a greater uh, population to help support neighborhood bridges. Wonderful. Would you encourage young women to get behind the wheel of this line of work? Absolutely, definitely. I'd encourage young women to find something they're passionate about, uh, something that they're passionate about. Uh, anyone can start out doing something small Never underestimate uh, starting out volunteering in a small way. In fact, a way that a young mom could help Neighborhood Bridges would be to follow us on social media, maybe like, comment, or share one of our posts, which again helps us increase our reach to gain potential new subscribers to our website and followers on our social media. Wonderful. Well, the Taylor Automotive family is all about giving back, and I know this organization is continually giving every day, but what personally is the most rewarding or, or something that's really touched you? Absolutely. One of the most rewarding parts of Neighborhood Bridges is the way we have been working with other nonprofits in the Sylvania community. Specifically, last summer, if you remember the Hunt Club apartment fires, Karen got together leaders from Sylvania Area Family Services, the Red Cross, some churches, the Sylvania schools, and we all got together to collaborate on how we could work together to assist the fire victims. And we're very happy to report we were able to donate over $12,000 in Myers gift cards to the fire club victims. Oh, that's incredible. What's the one piece of advice you could give a young woman or older woman or middle-aged woman <laughs> who uh, to dare to get behind the driver's seat as you have done? I would encourage them to not do it alone. To use your analogy, I would say invite passengers to get in the car with you to um, share in the enthusiasm for whatever project uh, you're working on. Invite them to go along with you on the drive. In fact, Karen and I were able to 
uh, find members for our steering committee just in that way, um, connecting with other community leaders, nonprofit leaders that shared in our vision, and we've got them on our steering committee. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Dolly, for sharing your passion with uh, Savania Neighborhood Bridges, and thank you for positively impacting our community. I really appreciate the time. Thanks so much, Mary Helen. Take care.